Hello and welcome to ICND1. My name is Jeremy Chara. And I know we haven't gotten to know each other yet, we will, but I can't tell you how excited I am for you to dive into this series. See, this is, this is always the last nugget I produce of the series, the welcome intro. So I'm, I'm looking at the landscape before you and I, and it is good. It is so rich. This is one of the best series we've ever produced here at CVT Nuggets. Let me tell you why. With this revision of CCNA, Cisco, I believe, has finally nailed it. See, when I learned CCNA, it was back in early 2000, and it was, <laughs> it was really easy. There really wasn't that much to learn. There wasn't even an ICND-1 and an ICND-2. It was just an all-in-one CCNA, and it was one of those, if you read the book, you're pretty much bound to pass the exam. Then Cisco made it harder and harder and harder and kept adding more and more content to it until they finally arrived at what they now call ICND 1 3.0, which is the revision that came out this year, 2016, and marks the first time Cisco actually pulled back on the content that went into ICND 1. I kept watching this landscape expand more and more. And I'm like, good grief, how does, how does anyone even know this with any kind of depth? And Cisco finally said that too. And they said, let's revise it to where you can get a really solid core understanding of network fundamentals, LAN switching technologies, routing technologies, infrastructure services, and infrastructure maintenance, which in itself is a ton of stuff, but they did it well. Oh, they did it so well in ICND1. And it's as if the stars aligned. Just as Cisco gets the content perfect, I believe, for ICND1, CBT Nuggets creates an entire new revolution of how we train here. How do we reach this generation of learner? So gone are the days of the hour, hour and a half nuggets that train on a whole extensive group of topics. And here, if, if you ever wonder, how do you create these things? <laughs> this is what I do. I create a, a, a spreadsheet showing here's the targeted topics. And you see on the, the right hand side, I actually put all of the exam, exam objectives that you're going to be required if you decide to take the certification exam for ICD-1. And I say, okay, let me align every single topic to be targeted specifically for those exam, exam objectives. But also, I realize there's an entire realm of you that are here because you're like, man, I just... I just want to get into network engineering. Maybe certification is cool, and if that comes along, great, but I'm more interested in just, just give me the topic. So all of these nuggets, as you've probably gotten used to if you've seen some of my training before, have just that real-world spin, and, <laughs> and we hired an entirely new team of people. We have a group of people at CBT Nuggets called Learning Content Engineers. These are people designed to stand in your shoes, meaning they watch the series from the student perspective and say, ah, I need a little more over here, or I didn't get that, or ooh, I think it would be really cool if we did this, and I'll tell you what, you got the best learning engineer ever. Uh, his name's Adam, and he actually went through and he started saying, you know what? It would be really cool if we started creating labs for the series, and he did. He created 20-some labs, I think, and maybe more, uh, uh, labs that you can actually practice and work through as you work through this series, and, that, and that's... Oh, Oh, I'm going to explode. Can you tell I'm just like, ah! um, and, and that's just in addition to how I've structured this rendition of the series. See, before in previous versions of ICND1, I would demonstrate the concept. I would jump on a Cisco router, not literally, but plug into a Cisco router, configure it for, you know, standard access list, which is what this lab is all about. But now I've actually converted a lot of this series into what I call live labs, where you watch me go through some lab objectives first so you can see how it's done, the commands to do it, the concepts to catch. And then I say, okay, stop and do it yourself pause the video just looking at the lab and work through it on your own equipment. And I give you equipment recommendations and all those kind of things because, oh, the only way to truly soak this in, I'm, I'm getting into some of the other uh, nugget content because I'll, I'll get into how to build your own lab, how to run through these nuggets so it's the most effective for you. But I am convinced that if you have never done it before with your own equipment, there's just going to be a gap of knowledge between the theory and the real world that will just provide this, this realm of discomfort where you're like, ah, I, I think I get it, but I, I just, I'm not sure. And that's what we're after this time around. I want to bridge that gap between theory and real world. I want to connect certification to what you'll see in a live environment. I want to do for you what somebody did for me years ago that when I sit around and people, you know, you do one of those generic introductions in a group and they're like, tell us your name and what you like to do for fun. You know what I say every single time? My name is Jeremy Chara. By the way, it's not a 12-step program, just so you know. I say, my name is Jeremy Chara and I love to work. I, I love what I do. 
And don't get me wrong. I love my family. I love my kids. I love God. But there's something magical that happens when you really get it. When you really start putting the puzzle pieces together and you're like, man, I'm really good at this and I really like it. That's what I want you to experience. So how do you get there? Repetition, repetition, repetition. It's a scientifically proven fact that if you hear something one time within a, a week or so, you've got like a 5% retention. It's, it's really not good. Very discouraging if you think of that statistic. So listen to it again and again and again and the entire time engage multiple modalities. I can show you a shelf. I have a bookshelf standing right next to me where I have multiple notebooks. And I'm not, I'm not talking anything fancy. Don't go leather or anything like that. I mean, just a spiral bound something where you can just start jotting things out. When I when I learn something, I fill one of these up and I stick it on the shelf and I rarely, if ever, pull it back off. You know why? Because once I've done that and I start working through a lot of the different things again and again and again, it's in my head. I, I get it and I might look at it and say, you know, I might show it off to people and say, check out all my notes, but I, don't, I just don't have to refer back to it. Write it down. Build or rent a lab. There's an entire nugget just on that. Get Get some equipment, either local or remote. We'll talk more about GNS3. We'll talk about Packet Tracer, which is something Cisco created in, in the uh, How to Build a Lab Nugget later in this series. But if you combine these three together, you hear it, you write it, and you do it, you're going to get the most retention of all. Keep in mind, this is not easy. Chances are good you're working in a career right now. You're doing this in the evening, in the weekend, and there's sacrifices that you're making to learn all this stuff. Matter of fact, I would actually uh, go to Google, type in Keith Barker building good IT training habits. Matter of fact, he's, he's one of the other uh, instructors we have here at CBT Nuggets. He did a phenomenal webinar just on, you know, here's, here's how you can study. Here's how you can, and I would say it's probably more uh, methods for life, how to, how to get some stuff done. Um, tune into that. Also, take all of this stuff that you start doing and do it yourself. You're going to see so many opportunities for labs throughout this series. And I would encourage you to network your house. <laughs> when I got into Cisco, it was before I was married. So I had a little advantage if you're a married folk. I'm, I'm married now, so I know exactly the, the battle I would have to fight. But I had Ethernet cables strewn across the floor, down the hallways. I had voice over IP phones running in my bedrooms. Most of the time, internet access wasn't working because I'd blown something up and I was trying to figure out how to fix it. But it's there. It's there that you fall in love. I know that sounds crazy, but it's when you start going, ah, oh, I, I fixed it. Whew, I got it. And, you know, it might start off like, oh, okay, whew, that was a couple hours of pain right there. I'm, I'm glad that's over. And then you start finding, oh, I, I can fix that too. And, oh, wait, wow, I could do this. And, and then before long, you're like, man, this is pretty awesome. There's so much more I could say. But in summary, I will say you are good at what you love, and you will love what you're good at. So welcome to ICND 1 3.0. I know that you're going to have an awesome time in this series. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.